Hi guys, just uploaded two videos of rubber band powered cars to YouTube tonight. That wasn't what I intended to do tonight. I was going to be doing some boats. Uh, got some scrap polystyrene packaging here. Uh, got a wooden stick that comes off of a firework rocket that we found in our garden. Got a little propeller blade here that comes off a toy. It's the one I've used on some of my um, little aeroplanes actually. And I've just stuck a paper clip in the back of it so that I can bend that up as a hook for the rubber band. And then this little bit of plastic, which you probably can't see very clearly, is the propeller bracket off the front of a rubber band powered aeroplane uh, which doesn't exist anymore but that should fit on the end of that stick with a bit of luck yep, that looks about right and that paper clip should go through the hole in it which I can't do with one hand or can I? oh yeah there we go so that goes through there. So I'll cut the polystyrene up. I've already started marking out the shape of the hole. So I'll cut that out. Put the wooden stick on the bottom of the boat. I might even put a bit of a keel underneath it so it's got a bit of directional stability. With the propeller at the back and a bent paper clip at the front to hook the rubber band on at that end. I might shape this polystyrene a bit so it's a bit more boat shaped. And then we'll stick it in the water and see if it goes. But that's going to have to wait for tomorrow now. There you go, I've cut the boat out. I did put a keel on it, just another strip of polystyrene up the middle and then I've got the wooden um, stick <laughs> with the bearing on the end of it and the propeller and the bent paper clip at the other end to hold the other end of the rubber band. So we'll wind it up and we'll test it in my bath. Don't bother posting comments like go and put it in a lake or in a pond or something like that. If there was a convenient one, that's what I'd be doing. But my nearest useful pond or boating lake is a 70 mile round trip. And I'm not going to go and do that just to test this. If we happen to be out by the boating lake at some time with the grandchildren, then that might happen. But I'm not making a special trip just to do this. There are some other ponds locally but they're full of weed and there's not much point putting this boat in a pond full of weed because all that will happen is the propeller will get caught up in the weed and I'll end up having to wade into the water or something to try and rescue it. So we'll put it in the bath and see how it goes. I forgot to mention I've put a big lead weight there just to make sure it holds the boat down in the water to keep the propeller well in the water. Well, it's done the length of the bath easily. It's hardly used any of the turns of the, the rubber band. So I've no idea how far it will go. And the only way we'll find out is to find a boat, boating lake or a pond and I've already explained why we're not doing that today. Job done. 